How's it going everybody? I'm Brad Drake from Holcomb Ranch Honey and today we're gonna take a look at a beehive. Now the first thing we're looking at here is we have plenty of bees going in and out. It's a nice day here in Reno so we're gonna have a look at them. First thing we want to do is we put a, a brick or in this case a block on top of the beehive. This is to keep the, the lid from blowing off in a storm or keeping unwanted critters from opening it up. Now before we go into any beehive, what we like to do is we, we take our smoker and we, we do what's called smoking the hive. And what smoking the hive does is it kind of puts the bees to sleep. They start going and eating honey and they don't get all mad at you for opening up their hive. So we take our smoker here, and we're just going to hit them with a little smoke at the entrance of the hive here. And that makes it safe for us to examine the hive. So we're going to take the lid off here, put it off to the side. And you can take your, uh, your hive tool here and go between the hive boxes. A lot of the time what happens is the bees will seal everything off with um, it's called propolis and if you get a zoomed in shot of here I'll show you what the propolis is. The, the propolis is this uh, orange colored stuff right around the edge here and a lot of people say it, it's good for arthritis and it's kind of like a, a consistency of chewing gum but people will eat it, but what the bees are using it for is to seal everything off to keep drafts and stuff from going in and out of the hive. So if you look at what we have here, is we already have several thousand bees here working the supers. And these two top boxes are the supers. And if you look here, all these bees are what's called drawing out uh, on the foundation. What they're doing is they're putting honeycomb on the foundation of the frame. And eventually, a few months from now, this will all be full of honey. And this is what the beekeeper gets from the bees. These lower two boxes are where all the, the hatching of the new bees, the rearing, and uh, the everyday life of the honeybee happens. But these two upper boxes, the supers, is where all the honey is being stored for the beekeeper. But we can take out a few more of these and you can see that there's literally thousands of bees here working, drying out the frame. You can see they're starting to get some honey right in here, the, the translucent appearing liquid here. That's all honey. But eventually this will all be drawn out nice and thick with honey. You can see there's a really strong hive with lots of bees. So we're going to take our hive to and we'll get down lower and lower into the hive and show you all what this is all about. Again, these are all sealed off nice and tight with propolis. And every now and then you get these the frames sticking to each other, which is kind of a difficult thing to deal with. Put that off to the side. Again, you can see all sorts of honey here. This is what the bees have been working on. And they're doing a pretty good job at it. Get rid of this other super here. And these things are getting really heavy. By the end of the year, these things will weigh a good 50 pounds, filled with honey. Now we get to the, the excluder, the queen excluder. What this um, divider does is it prevents the queen from coming up into the super and laying eggs and hatching out bees in your honey. You want to keep the honey as clean as possible, and that's why we put this uh, ex excluder in here, and that just saves saves your honey and gets you a good crop every year. 
Now you can see there's all sorts of honey on here. And a good thing to do is you take your, your hive tool here and clean all this off. And this just allows more openings for the for the bees to to go up into the supers and make and fill up the the frames with honey. So we'll get rid of all this. Now we're into the, the hive box itself. We can use a little more smoke here. See how the bees are getting a little irritated by our presence here. But see how when we hit them with the smoke, they all of a sudden just start eating the honey. Now if you look here, this is where all the all the rearing of the new bees happens. So we'll take one of these out for you guys to take a look at. And you can see there's literally thousands and thousands of bees in here. And if you look right up here, there's actually a baby bee larvae right here. But if you look across this whole thing, this is what's called brood here, all these cap cells. And in each one of those, there's a baby bee that's growing. And the queen will lay literally thousands of eggs a day and constantly is hatching out newer and newer bees to work the hive. Now if we get a close-up here, I can show you the actual worker bees. Now all worker bees are, are females and they're, they're non-reproductive females so they can't lay eggs. Only the queen can lay eggs. Now if you look close here, predominantly all you see here is worker bees. Again, they're the non-reproductive females. Now if we take a look here, you see this big one right here? That's what's called a drone. And he's a male bee and basically his job in life is to mate with the, the queen and so she can be fertile and lay lay eggs. And again, if you look down deep in these cells, you can see the baby bee larvae, the white looking worm things. And in a few weeks those will hatch out and all these bees, what they're doing here is just feeding the, the larvae and keeping them at a constant temperature so they can hatch. Again, you can see a whole bunch of honey right here that's being stored and this is what the bees are eating while they're they're hatching out the, the larvae. But there is um, approximately there, there's ten of these in each um, ten of these frames in each of the hive boxes. And so you can imagine that if there's this many bees on one frame and there's twenty more in that um, in that hive, there's you can easily see how there can be up to say 50,000 bees in a in one good strong hive box. So I'll put this thing back and let these bees go back to what they've been doing all morning and get them nice and happy. Again, here's our uh, queen extractor. We're putting that on to prevent the queen from laying eggs in the upper portions of our supers. Again, here's a nice heavy super, and it's just going to get heavier as the year goes on. So we'll put that on. And finally, our second super. We'll put that on as well. And the bees will again seal this off with propolis to make a nice air and watertight seal throughout the whole the whole hut. I'm going to stick the cover back on here, the inner cover, followed by the 
the lid and I'd say this this beehive is good to go. We have a nice strong swarm here in Reno, Nevada and I want to thank you all for watching this video from Nevada Bee Guy at Holcomb Ranch Honey. Thanks a lot.